Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we're making this awesome, super easy one ball shawl. It's just one ball of yarn and two pattern repeats, so it's super easy. It's a perfect pattern for beginners to start. A great first garment. Super fun to make and really easy to remember because we're doing cakes and candles. So you'll be able to recognize and know what you need to be doing. So don't worry about it. Get your yarn and your hook and let's get started. I'm using this fabulous Magic DK yarn from Ice Yarns. It is 100% acrylic, 100 gram ball, 340 meters, and it's a size three for thickness. It measures 40 inches wide and 20 inches tall with one ball of yarn. I'm also using a five millimeter hook, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. So that's what you'll need for the pattern. If you do not have this yarn, all you really want to be looking for is a size 3 thickness and you want to check, if you want it to be like almost exactly like mine, you just go by the size of the ball. So for 100 grams, it should be 340 meters approximately. That'll give you the same thickness and length, so you'll get the same measurement as I do, depending on your tension of course, your gauge. But don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. You're also welcome to use a size four thickness yarn, just a regular craft yarn. And then you'd probably, instead of a five millimeter hook, you would want to jump up to a six millimeter hook. That'll give you a nice loose, uh, it'll just match with the yarn. So don't worry about using a different yarn. It would also work up great in cotton or bamboo or anything. So just whatever yarn you have, just look at the label and pick the hook or use the hook that it asks you to use for that yarn. That's all you need to do. And 340 meters gives you a fabulous one ball shawl. To start making the cake and candle one ball shawl, just put your tail over your hand and we're going to make a slip knot. Leave a long enough tail that you can sew it in later with a needle. So just make a slip knot and shrink it down. Put it on your hook and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. To count your chains, you don't count what's on your hook and you don't count the little knot in the beginning. You just count these V's in between. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to wrap your yarn and go into the very first chain you made. So just push your hook in to that very first space right after the knot. Grab your yarn and bring it through. Wrap your yarn and take off two wrap your yarn and take off two. So that was your first double crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three. Wrap your yarn again and go into that very same uh, chain or stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So that is the very tip of our shawl. Our neck is going to be right here and this will be going down our back or down our front of our body depending how you're wearing your shawl. Chain three, one, two, and three, and turn your work. Wrap your yarn and into this space we're going to make seven double crochets. So wrap your yarn and go into that space, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. So we're going to do that six more times into this space. So there's our seven double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and it's eight counting this chain. So that is just for the ends of the rows. Wrap your yarn, and now into this stitch, into this double crochet, we're going to make a double crochet right into this stitch. So we're going to put our hook in right there. 
So wrap your yarn and go into that stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. And into this next space here, we're gonna do eight double crochets all into the same space. So wrap your yarn and go in and eight double crochets. Anytime in this video, you just pause the video and then do the stitches and then press play again. So don't think you have to crochet at the same speed I do or the same speed that I talk. Just press pause and then do the stitches and then press play and I will be right there with you. So we need to count this one into that stitch. We don't count that one. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to do two more. Here is seven and eight. And that's what it looks like so far. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Turn your work into the very first stitch which is this one right here, right there. These little dimples are your stitches, so one, two, three, like that, all the way along. Into the first stitch, we're going to make one double crochet. So wrap your yarn and go into that stitch, two loops of the stitch on your hook, and do your double crochet. Chain one. Now we're gonna skip two stitches, so one and two, into the third, we're going to make a double crochet. So wrap your yarn, skip the first, second, into the third. Again, two loops of that V on your hook. Double crochet. So there's one, we're gonna do three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Don't know if you can hear it, but it just started to rain. <laughs> Chain one. Now we're gonna skip two stitches, one and two, and into the third, which is also the double crochet that we put into the stitch, the very center of our shawl. We're gonna do a V stitch, so wrap your yarn and go in to that double crochet, the top of the double crochet, or the third stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. Chain three, one, two, and three. Wrap your yarn and go into the very same stitch with a double crochet. So that is your first V stitch. And because we're at the bottom of our shawl, we're gonna do that twice. So chain three, one, two, and three, and one more double crochet into the very same stitch. Like that. Chain one, and now we're gonna skip two and do our three double crochets. Skip one, skip two, into the third. We start to make our three double crochets. And this is our cake. You'll see it more in, our, in a few rounds, but these three double crochets, that is our cake. Chain one, wrap your yarn, and into the third stitch, which is a chain. It's not these two stitches here. We are going to go into this one, way over on that side. And we're gonna make a V-stitch. So push your hook into that chain. You want two loops of it on your hook. And make one double crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three. And one more double crochet into the same stitch. So that is what we have so far. This is where our neck is going to be and this would be going down our back or down our front depending on how you're wearing your shawl. This is the pointy bit and that's the neck. Chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work. So now you can kind of see that this is going to be our cake and these are our V's. Wrap your yarn. We're going to make seven double crochets into this V space or into this V stitch, right into the center, just that big opening. We're gonna do seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there is our seven double crochets, eight including our chain. 
just to make sure one two three four five six seven eight great chain one and into the top of our cake one candle so one double crochet wrap your yarn and go into the center stitch the middle of that cake to make one double crochet that just puts a candle on top of your cake chain one wrap your yarn and seven double crochets into the next space one two three four, five, six, and seven. And remember to pause the video and just work along and then just press play when you have got caught up. Now wrap your yarn and we're going to go into this double crochet here, into this stitch to make a double crochet. So this line is going to go up our entire shawl. So into that stitch right there we'll make a double crochet so wrap your yarn and go into that stitch two loops on your hook grab your yarn and bring it back and make your double crochet now into the next V space we are going to do seven double crochets so one two three four five six and seven chain one and there's our cake again so put a candle on the cake one double crochet into that center stitch chain one we always do a chain one in between everything that we do and there is our V over here so because it's on the edge we're going to do eight double crochets into this corner V or this edge V so wrap your yarn and eight double crochets into this space. So there's our eight and that's how far we've gotten on our, on our shawl so far, our one ball shawl. And when we're at our edge and we've just done a shell, we're always gonna do a chain six. So we'll chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So three chains counts as our double crochet, and three chains counts as the top of our V. So just turn your work, wrap your yarn, and go into the very same stitch, that first little dimple along the edge, just right there, and make one double crochet. So that is your first V stitch of your row. And we're just going to alternate doing the candles and shells or the cakes and V's. So the next row here is going to be cakes and V's. So we did our V, chain one, wrap your yarn and we're going to do our cake. So we're going to skip two stitches, one and two, and we're going to go into the third to start making our cake. So one, two, into the third, three double crochets, one into each stitch, and that makes our cake. Chain one. Now into the top of the candle, we're gonna do a V stitch. So into the top, push your hook in. Just check that you've got two loops of that stitch on your hook and do a V stitch. So double crochet, chain three. Wrap your yarn and double crochet all into the top of that stitch, all into the top of the candle chain one and now we're going to make a cake so skip two stitches one and two wrap your yarn and go into the third to make your cake cakes are three double crochets one two and three chain one and now we're going to find that double crochet in the middle and into the top of the double crochet we're going to do the tip of our shawl and that's just two V stitches together so we're going to make a double crochet chain three double crochet chain three and a double crochet all into one spot and that is what we're going to do for the center of our shawl every time for this round or this row chain one 
Now we're going to make a cake in the center of our shell. So skip two and we start in the third stitch and making one double crochet, our second double crochet, and our third double crochet. So there is our cake. Chain one and into the top of the candle a V stitch. So double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain one. And into the shell we build a cake. So skip two stitches and into the third one double crochet, our second double crochet in the next stitch, and our third double crochet in the stitch after that. So there's our cake, chain one, and we're going to end with a V stitch. So wrap your yarn, skip the double crochets, we're going to go into the chain. So push your hook into that weird little bit right after. Just push your hook in. You want two loops of that chain on your hook and make a double crochet. Chain three and one more double crochet in the same stitch like that. Chain three, one, two, and three. And you know you're going to turn with a chain three because we're, gonna, we're doing double crochets into our V stitches so you just have to get the same height as a double crochet. Turn your work and we're going to make seven double crochets. So this row here we're going to do our shells of seven double crochets and the candles on top of our cakes all the way along. So V stitches get shells of seven and cakes get a candle and everything has a chain one in between. So seven double crochets into the V spot. So there's our seven, eight including our chain, chain one and now it's candle time. So one double crochet into the center, the center double crochet of that cake, like that, chain one, and seven double crochets into the V space, the space of the V stitch. Chain one, and into the cake, one candle in the center, chain one, and now we're at the tip of our shawl, so we'll do that together. Seven double crochets, one double crochet into the stitch, and seven double crochets. So seven, where's one, two, seven, into the stitch, one double crochet, and now seven double crochets into the next. And seven. Chain one, and there is our cake. Cakes need a candle, so into that center stitch, one double crochet, chain one. V stitches need seven double crochets. So seven double crochets into the V. Chain one. There's a cake. So into the center stitch, one double crochet to make a candle. Chain one. And into the corner V or the edge V, we need to do eight. Eight double crochets. We put one extra one on when we get just on the edge just so it holds or it goes around your shoulders or has a nice turn to it we don't want to be stingy on the edge of our shawl that's why we do one more stitch when we get to this side one two three four five six seven and eight So that is our pattern repeat. We do shells and candles and then we do cakes and V's. So depending what row you're doing, those are the two rows. You just keep alternating doing them until you run out of yarn, which would be which would make a 
one ball shawl or the kind you can wear uh, frontwards with the V part on your chest and the, this on the front of your neck or your throat I should say or you can do two balls and make a normal size shawl or three balls for an extra, li extra large luxurious shawl. So don't think because it's a one ball shawl you can't make it bigger, you totally can. So I'll put a time stamp in the description box below so if you want to do whichever row you can just click on that and I will show you again how to do the cakes and V's or the shells and candles. So that'll be in the description box below. So keep going until you run out of yarn and I will see you there. When you're getting close to finishing your yarn, just make sure you're gonna end on a row of the shells with the candles. You don't wanna end on this other row. It doesn't look as great to finish a shawl off, but if we end on this row, we don't have to do anything else to it. It looks super finished. So I am just gonna stop now. This is gonna be a one ball shawl. If you're keeping going, then two balls would make a great shawl and three balls would be like an extra large and luscious one. So just decide what you're gonna do, but whenever you're gonna stop, make sure you stop on a row with the shells or else you have to frog it back like I did. Don't do that. When you have finished your row and put your last of these eight double crochets into the last V-stitch space, all you have to do to finish is just chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. Now you just have to take your needle and sew in your ends. Try to keep it matching with the color if possible. So this is one ball. You can decide how many balls you want to use for yours. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 